When I first set out along this journey of becoming a shooting teacher, I found myself watching and reading all material that I, that I could find in relation to how people taught shooting basketball. And no matter what I found, I, I always felt as if there was something I was missing. There was something more to the equation that I wasn't getting. And it wasn't until I stumbled upon Rob Fodor's stuff that things really started to make sense on a level that they never had. It was like all of these years I had been collecting all of these dots and they were finally starting to connect. And luckily enough for me, the mentorship and friendship that Rob has offered has afforded me the ability to understand shooting on a level that I don't think I would have ever been able to. And in starting to teach more and more and starting to then be afforded the ability to work with more clients, I had this underlying fear of that I wouldn't be able to help already established players. I understood shooting on a level of, okay, you have this problem, I know how to fix it, but what if you don't have any mechanical problem? What if what you're trying to get better at um, falls outside of just the mechanics of shooting and it's something else? And through some of the information that I tend to take in, whether it be through books or podcasts, I came across a few interviews between Tim Ferriss and Josh Waitzkin, who are just two absolute professional learners. And one of the ways that they find themselves accelerating at things quicker than others is by identifying blind spots within particular sports or any other hobby. And my mind went to, well, what blind spots are there in shooting? And as of now, I've come across or come to two conclusions that I think the biggest separators later on down the line will be that of conditioning, and that of preparation. The conditioning side of thing makes sense because the majority of the game is actually played kind of like an endurance sport. We train for the explosive moments and they're very, very important. But overall, the game is just nonstop movement. And how well trained are you from a cardiovascular standpoint in between those moments of when we are exploding? And I would venture to guess that the majority of us aren't trained that well. And if we can start to really pay attention to this, similar to how Steph does with Accelerate Basketball and Brandon Payne, I think we can on all unlock some type of superpower that will allow our skills that we've been working so hard on and shooting the basketball not to diminish over the course of a game, over the course of a season, and over the course of a career. When it comes to the preparation side of things, I think it's something that we all can get really good at. There's nothing that says that somebody that's five foot two can't be just as good at preparing as somebody who's six foot eight. It's one of those unique things that when you start to relearn how to move and how to prepare and just how important that is, it flows into the shot and what we're capable of in ways that I previously never thought about. So within those two areas, if you could attack them full on and really really just make that your primary focus on top of obviously the other things i think you have a really good chance at separating yourself from the rest of the pack later on down the line